Welcome to this NASA 32 and Tyrannus video. Now this video is actually posted in two separate playlists, one for the Tyrannus radio and one for the NASA 32. So if you found this in the playlist for either of those, be aware that there's a complete other playlist that covers the other side of the technology we're using in this video. So in this video, what we're going to do is finally configure the NASA 32 to output the telemetry down into the FR Sky D4R2 receiver and back to the Tyrannus radio so it can be viewed on the screen. Really great feature this. It can appear a little bit tricky to set up. I've had quite a few subscribers contact me over the past couple of months trying to get this working and now I actually have the Tyrannus radio, I can actually show it in real life. It's relatively straightforward but there are a couple of tricks to make it easy. Aren't there always in my videos? Normally, the telemetry would be connected to the telemetry port on the NASA 32. If I turn this thing over, you'll see here that the left-hand set of the three pins at the top of the screen says Telem. And that's normally where people would connect telemetry to. However, there are a couple of downsides with doing it that way. One, the telemetry information only comes out of that port when the board is armed. Secondly, there can be interesting actions with the USB, so it's better to have the USB cable in plugged. And also, some boards have the inversion circuitry that's needed and some boards don't. So why am I talking about inversion circuitry? Well, the Tyrannus telemetry information is a little bit unusual in that it's actually upside down. It's inverted. So you need a bit of circuitry on the NAS A32 board that will actually flip that telemetry the right way up. Now this catches a lot of people out. However, the way we are going to do it is we're going to use something called a soft serial port. So we're going to connect our receiver into pin six on the NAS A32 here at the side, just under the, where the PPM cable is. The reason we're doing it that way is for several reasons really. First of all, telemetry is always pumped out the side, so regardless of what state the board is in, armed or disarmed, you can see the information. I think that's a much better way of doing it, because once you have things like the GPS enabled and working on the board, you can actually see the GPS coordinates on the Tyrannus screen. So if this thing went down in a field or was stuck in a tree or whatever, if you were getting telemetry information, you could pinpoint its location on the globe using Google Earth or some similar application and then go and find it. I wouldn't like to be constantly trying to arm my board to try and get the telemetry stream back out. Doesn't sound like a very safe way to do it if I don't know how the machine has crashed. Secondly, it does allow us to be quite cute and there is a command in the clean flight setup that allows us to invert the signal in software. So we don't have to rely on the particular NAS A32 version or clone that we're running having that inversion technology on these pins. We can actually, if it doesn't work, tell the NAS A32 in software, just flip that upside down. And that's one of the real benefits of using a soft serial port. So let me just explain how we've got this wired together before we jump onto the clean flight application on the PC. So on the side of the D4R2, the way we've got this configured is we have pins three and four shorted out with a little jumper. That's forcing the receiver to send out a PPM signal over this three wire servo cable, which is pretty standard stuff. Actually, this also outputs RSSI on output two as well, which can be very handy if you want to plug it directly into things like a OSD. However, the way we're going to do it is underneath on this side cable, you can see here that it has receive, transmit, AD2 and ground. We're going to connect that receive wire, which is a green wire, into pin 6 on the side of the NAS A32. So there's pin 6 and there's that green wire that's coming from the receiver. That's the only additional connection you need to make to get all this working. If you need another one of these cables, just a bit of um, help here, um, I didn't get one of the cables when I got this D4R2. This connector here is a DF13 connector. It's a four pin DF13. If you search on the usual places for a DF13 four pin connector, this is what you'll find. So, now we've got it all set up. Let's go onto the PC, start clean flight, and do the configuration. And I'll show you the trick with the inversion in case you do everything 
and it's not working. So what we've done here to show how to get the telemetry working is I've got my Trinus radio showing the telemetry for the model and we're displaying the accelerometer values for the X, Y and Z and also the vertical speed and the speed indicator. Now that will change when we've got the bits and pieces are working. So here we are in clean flight. A couple of things we're going to have to do. First of all we need to co configure the ports. We're going to use soft serial. We're going to use soft serial 1, that's what pin 6 is going to be. We're going to configure that as FR Sky and we'll set it to 9600. We'll save and reboot. Now that's not going to turn anything on yet. That's just handy to have that set ready to go because the next thing we're going to do is go into configuration, scroll right to the bottom, and in here we're going to enable soft serial because we're going to want those guys turned on and we're going to enable telemetry. We'll hit save and reboot again. And now on my screen, as I move the board, you can see the telemetry information for the accelerometers is changing on the screen. Now, sometimes when you do this, it won't work, and that is because there is inversion circuitry needed. Now, some boards have it, some boards don't. I actually have the inversion set up already on this NAS A32, so it's working. But if you get to this stage and suddenly the values don't burst into life, what you do is go into the command line interface and you type in set telemetry underscore inversion space equals space one. It helps if you spell it right. I'm actually going to put a link on the screen and in the description to the page that actually goes through all this, which is on the Clean Flight main master pages. It's uh, telemetry.md that's all in. So it's I-N-V-E-R-S-I-O-N, -S there we go, and hit enter. That is what it needs to be for this to work, and then once you've done that, you type in save and hit return. Now it'll reboot, and we'll see in the display that we've still got all our telemetry information working, it's all pilling on the screen. So that's how you do it, very straightforward really. You connect up the receive port on the side of the FR Sky to pin 6, you go into configuration, you make sure that you have soft serial and telemetry turned on, and then you jump into port, you configure soft serial 1 to be FR Sky, 9600 will work fine for the data speed that you want, click save and reboot, it should be in business, if it doesn't work, Use the set telemetry underscore inversion equals one in the command line interface and you'll be in business. Thank you for taking the time to watch that video. There are lots of other videos on the channel and they're carefully ordered into playlists. So you may find that there are other videos on this same subject that you can go and watch. So I would recommend going into the playlist area of Painless360 YouTube channel and looking around and seeing what there is. You never know what you might find. Thanks for watching, please like, subscribe and happy flying.